Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our last film, Norma Ray, with Sally Field as a real-life crusader in her efforts to improve working conditions in a North Carolina textile mill, inspired us to follow that film, an Oscar winner for Sally, with some more movies about real-life ladies who fought the system. That next brings us to a film from 1985 titled Marie, A True Story. This time, the star is Sissy Spacek, who plays a single mother of three who raises her family against all odds and proves herself to the degree that in the 1970s, she's appointed as a Tennessee Board of Pardons and Paroles. But then, whoa, she discovers that in her area of Tennessee, the process of releasing criminals from prison is wildly corrupt and against all odds again. She fights to do something about it. It's another terrific story of one person's fight against seemingly overwhelming odds. Something that 50 years earlier might have been told on the big screen by maybe somebody like Frank Capra. And interestingly, this film was produced by Capra's son, Frank Capra Jr. Now, it's based on a book about the corruption scandal involving the real-life Marie Raggianti, written by Peter Mass, the same man who exposed corruption in New York City's police department, with the book Serpico. And for the record, this film was made five years after Sissy Spacek had won the Oscar for the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. So here's the film with the cast that also includes Jeff Daniels, Morgan Freeman, John Cullum, and real-life lawyer-turned-actor Fred Thompson, who in a story that you'd really think only a Hollywood screenwriter could come up with, plays himself in the film because as a lawyer, he did indeed represent Marie Raggianti for real. From 1985, directed by Roger Donaldson, here's Marie, a true story.